course, today we're going to be doing the F equals ME exam, specifically the 2011 version, as you can see I've got right here. Now I'm going to be working off my iPad, so you're going to see it right on the screen in its full glory. Let's get to the questions. All right, so here's our first question. We got a cyclist traveling, whoops, we got a cyclist traveling at some 22 kilometers per hour, um, uh, except for a 20 minute stop. So at some point during his journey, he stops for 20 minutes. His average speed was 17 and a half kilometers per hour. What was his total distance traveled? Okay, so here's how I did this question. Uh, it was pretty weird at the beginning, but uh, here's how I did it. So I drew a graph. So we know he travels at a constant speed. So if we draw his VT graph, it'll look something like this, right? So obviously I don't want that fat of a VT graph. Let me add a pen here, maybe dark blue, okay? So here would be his VT graph, 22 kilometers per hour. And the reason why it would be just straight is because he's traveling at a constant velocity, right? So you can imagine then why it would be straight. 22 kilometers per hour, and at some point in this journey, he stops and comes back and finishes. All right, that's good. Um, but something else also happens. What else happens? Well, we know that his average speed is 17 and a half. So here's something I like to do. Average speed, I like to represent as a, a rectangle whose area is the same as the area under the actual curve, but whose length is this whole entire time. So what would be the area under this? Well, it would be the total distance traveled. So this would be 17 and a half. And let's say this, um, there's a few time slots here. Let's call this T1, T2, and T3. T1 is when he starts his break. T2 is when he ends his break. T3 is when he ends the whole ride. All right, so with this piece of critical information, can we um, find out how far the cyclist travels? Well, yes, we can actually, because uh, we can, first of all, we can write the area under this curve as the distance that the cyclist travels. So that would be 17.5 times T3. And that's going to equal what? Well, number one, we're going to have two things. We're going to have the area under this curve plus the area under this curve. All right, add those two suckers up. What are you going to get? Well, let's check it out. This first guy, what is this? Well, remember, whatever we add up, we got to exploit the fact that we know there's a 20-minute gap right there. So let's try to exploit that. Can we exploit that? So I can say, for instance, that the, the distance covered is going to be 22t3. That's going to give me what? Let me, let me show you what that's going to give me. 22t3 would be this entire space, right? That entire distance. But we gotta take out. We gotta chop out what, uh, what, what, what times he stopped. So I'm gonna take from away from this. Whoops, it's still big and fat. So I'm gonna decrease that by a bit. So I'm gonna take away from that 22 t2 minus t1. So what's that gonna do? That's gonna take away this portion right here, this middle portion right there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, whoops going to take away this middle portion. Anyway, uh, let me see if I can put that back up. Well, this eraser is way, way too big, way too big. But hopefully you get my point. Okay, so now do we actually know what, what this is? Do we know what T2 minus T1 is? Well, yes, we do. T2 minus T1, remember, is 20 minutes, which is just uh, a third of an hour. Uh, so I can just go ahead. I can write one third over here. So that's going to give me what? 17 and a half T3 is equal to 22 T3 minus 22 one third. And so if I solve for T3, what am I going to get? 
I'll get 17 and a half T3 minus 22 T3 is equal to 22 over 3 um, minus 22 over 3 and uh, by the way there's no guarantee I'm gonna get any of these questions right I just know AP physics a little bit so any questions I get wrong I'll be sure to show you guys the corrections so let's factor out the T3 right here 17 and a half minus 22 is equal to minus 22 over 3 so what's my t3 going to be well it's going to be negative 22 over 3 divide that by 17 and a half minus 22 all right so what's that going to be well we can use a calculator so let me show you right here what this calculator looks like minus 22 over 3 divided by uh, 17.5 minus 22 that gives us 1.629 for T3. 1.629 seconds, which is about 1.63. Uh, so if we want to find the total distance he traveled, we just got to take that time, plug it in right there. So let's do that. 17 and a half times T3, which we just found is 1.63. Was it 1.63? I think it was. Yep. So let's calculate that. Let's check it out. 17.5 times 1.63 and it's 28.52 28.52 which we can round to about 28.5 meters and that ladies and gentlemen is how you solve uh, our kilometers <laughs> yep I knew I was gonna get something wrong so uh, yeah that ladies and gentlemen is how you solve the first question and the F equals MA uh, 2011 exam so uh, my final answer is gonna be choice a 28.5 kilometers so if you want a quick recap let me give you a quick recap uh, right here so what I did was I took a graphical approach where I drew the VT graph of this guy and that told me that the area under the average was equal to the area under the whole graph which is given by um, whoops which is given by this. It's given by the total distance you traveled minus your break chopped off, your break chopped off. So with that uh, in my head, I went ahead and solved for T3. I got T3 is 1.629, and I plugged that back in into 17.5 times T3. And so I found that his total distance traveled was no more than 28.5 kilometers and that's a pretty crappy highlighter but hopefully you get the point folks if you have any questions or concerns leave them below and we're going to check out more of these f equals ma problems in depth in the upcoming videos let me know what other what other future content you'd like uh, maybe emc 10 emc 12 emc 8 problems and we'll check you out in the future thanks for watching ambition plus mko plus scaffolding equal learning we believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. science.